Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a dynamic product ad on Facebook using your Shopify store. First thing we're going to want to do is A, log into our Shopify store. So if you log in to your back into your Shopify store, you're going to want to go to your apps down here. So apps. And you're going to want to go, obviously uh, this is the back end of my store. You're going to not see any apps if this is a fresh store. You're going to want to go to visit Shopify app store. And you're going to look for that Facebook product feed app. Facebook product feed. Oh, not face. Facebook. Facebook product feed by Flexify. That's the app you're going to want to get. You're going to click that and it'll tell you to get it. You want to click get. And once you get that app, it will pop into the back end of your app section of your Shopify store. Now let's click that. There's going to be a feed here. This feed is going to be important for us because this feed is tied in through this app which is pulling every single product from the back end of your Shopify store through an RSS feed. That's what we're going to push through to Facebook to tell them what products are in our store. So let's copy that that feed real quick. Make sure that the sync search engines checked and the format feeds checked. Uh, this is going to actually make sure that it uses uh, all of Shopify's capabilities for the pixel. So just these two checked, leave that one unchecked, make sure it says all products, click save. Now we're going to want to go into Facebook and set up that feed. So we're going to go to the hamburger. You might see something different. We're going to go to the hamburger, go to all tools down here. And we're going to go to catalogs. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to build that Shopify catalog with all those products. As you can see, I have several Shopify stores and you might not have any. You might already have... Uh, done this, but this is the easiest way to do this is to click create catalog We're going to choose e-commerce and what you're going to see is a really cool feature Click Shopify and it's going to give us step by step over here that will walk us through as I do it on the screen click next Choose the business that this belongs to I'm going to say this belongs to my media account and then let's name our catalog So for instance if you have several catalogs several stores under this business account, uh, I suggest you naming it after the Shopify store. What I do is I label this uh, high level what business is running the Shopify store, and down here I'll la label this exactly uh, the Shopify store name. So in this instance, this is a test. I'm going to use B O A underscore test, and B O A stands for Bucks of America, which is uh, one of my main Shopify stores at BucksOf.com, and I'm going to choose create. Now when I choose create, it says the catalog's created, but there's no products in there, right? Right. So what we have to do is go back into our Shopify store, have that feed that we already copied over here. Copy that feed. <clears throat> and we're going to go into where it says add products, import inventory to Facebook. You're going to want to click that. And you're going to want to choose the scheduled upload. If you choose a single upload, that is a CSV or a TSV file, uh, basically like a spreadsheet that you would upload for our, all of your products. In this instance, we're going to do a scheduled upload, uh, which means that it's going to automatically feed from our Shopify store. Scheduled upload means maybe once a day, once a week, whatever you so choose. But in this instance, we need to choose scheduled upload. And as you see, it says schedule your uploads. And it's going to ask you how often do you want Facebook to pull that feed from your Shopify store. If you're adding a ton of stores or a ton of products into your store, you know, early on in your build out, maybe you want to do it once a day, every night at midnight. Uh, if you're adding, you know, if you have several products going in, you know, ASAP and you're running ads to those products ASAP, you might want to do it once an hour. Um, I don't suggest uh, doing it hourly, uh, either daily or once a week is all you should need. <clears throat> so here's where it's asking for that uh, feed here you're going to take that that we copied uh, choose daily uh, you can just choose whatever suits your needs I suggest always doing midnight so choose where you're from just choose uh, you know midnight there or just lay 11 11 midnight that's what time it is okay now we're going to click this URL and we're going to paste that feed you see that that's the exact same feed that we're getting right here. 
from your products. We're going to paste that feed. You do not have to do a URL login. Uh, you don't need to do this. Uh, Facebook and Shopify will be your server. And then it's going to tell you enter data feed name. Now you, s you named your catalog under your business account. This is going to be the feed name. So for instance, if, if you upload a feed uh, January of 2018, and you have a ton of products that you switch out, change, edit, whatever, it should be pulling those scheduled uploads. However, if you did a total revamp, uh, say July, and you want to re-upload a new uh, feed completely for your store, you can come in here and uh, title this feed name so you know, okay, this is the feed that we're uploading right now today in January. Next time you do it in July, you can label it July. In this instance, we'll just leave it as the uh, domain. This is my Shopify domain and uh, the date right there. We'll click Start Upload. What this is going to do now is Facebook is going to go talk to Shopify and it's going to search the entire store and it's going to pull every single product from the back end of Shopify that you've created into Facebook. And this might take a while depending on how many products you have. In my store I have several thousand so uh, in this instance we're not going to wait. It will take uh, hours. For several thousand but uh, in your instance you know it's 10 20 30 40 50 even should take pretty quickly um, when that happens for you I'm gonna speed this up for us. so uh, this will upload and once it's uploaded you'll click you know you're done and then your products will show that your products are being added now once this is done it will tell you done and it'll show you how many products are on there so you can click your uh, uh, once you have them uploaded right here will say view products instead of add products and you'll click view products that means that every product that's on your Shopify store is um, uploaded to Facebook and what that looks like is since uh, we don't want to wait for the test to upload let's go over here to my uh, another one of my Bucks of America there's Bucks of and you'll see here all of my products this is what it'll look like and it'll pull every single shirt keep viewing it'll be all thousands of them uh, everything now this is the picture that Facebook is going to show on the ad when you use a dynamic product ad now that we have our catalog feed being pulled from Shopify and we have our catalog into Facebook the next step is to actually build the Facebook ad and I'm going to show you guys that in the next video.